Daihatsu unveiled no less the five concept cars at once at the 2017 Tokyo Motor Show. They are topped off by the good-looking DN Campano, which is a retro-referencing four-door saloon coupe, with the most appealing roof line that looks like it's come straight from Nissan's much-missed bike factory. And to prove its retro credentials, it was parked alongside an identically colored 1962 Campano. For those who like history, that car was the first Japanese motor to be officially imported into the UK. So, will the new one make it to the UK? Unlikely. Daihatsu says that the Campano's most important feature is the relaxing comfort you're able to enjoy in the two front seats. And that is combined with a high-quality interior, which has not always been a high priority in this market sector. It's far from sporting. And Daihatsu says that it's a cruiser that's targeted at active seniors who like to enjoy individual lifestyles. In other words, empty nesters with a few quid to spare. Or not, as the case in the UK may be. It's powered by a 1.0-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine, but will also be available with the option of a 1.2-liter petrol hybrid. Daihatsu wouldn't confirm whether it would be going into production, but it looked near production ready to us. Alongside the four-door Campano will be a small SUV, which is called the DN Trek. It's powered by the same engine options as the coupe and has been conceived to be used in light off-roading situations. A larger SUV called the DN Multi 6 was also unveiled. That's powered by 1.5-liter petrol engine and it packs in three rows of seats. There's also a petrol-powered U-Space MPV car powered by a 660cc engine. Last in the lineup is the electrically powered DN Pro Cargo, which is described as a versatile load lugger, and which looks like it would make a very effective small van for city-based companies. Judging from the reactions from the crowds in Tokyo who flocked around the Campano, Daihatsu would be crazy not to put it into production. Expect to see it in the UK soon after as a grey import, and 10 years after that, in the classic car magazines.